Don't adjust your sets. Those scenes were captured at an illegal party on December 17, 2021, hosted by an agency of the government of Jamaica, the Transport Authority. COVID rules? What COVID rules? What you are witnessing actually took place at the Transport Authority's offices, located at 107 Maxwell Avenue in Kingston, just over a week before Christmas Day last year. This, despite orders under the Disaster Risk Management Act, the DRMA at that time, prohibiting the hosting of entertainment events. But it appears the management and some staff of the public transport sector regulator thought they had both a license and authority to disobey that ban and party anyway. Prime Minister Andrew Holness announced the lifting of the ban on entertainment events in Parliament on March 17 this year during his contribution to the budget debate. It became effective the following day. The prohibition on entertainment, Madam Speaker, will now be lifted as of tomorrow, March 18, 2022. The public is reminded that events are regulated under various laws and administered by various entities such as the municipal corporations and the JCF from whom permits must be sought and licenses paid. The permits granted will include a condition that the number of persons in any venue must be below 70% of the capacity. This condition will be kept until the 15th of March, 15th of April, sorry, 2022. While law-abiding party promoters were unable to host and earn from entertainment events during the Yuletide season, patrons at the Transport Authority's illegal party danced the night away in the courtyard to hardcore dancehall, calypso, and even Afrobeats songs. In one of three videos posted to social media website Instagram, two of the patrons at the Transport Authority's illegal party can be seen executing a daring dance move while hanging from a ladder that leads to the top of the first floor of the building. Watch. The pair became the center of attention and attracted the proverbial video light. The disc jockey could be heard egging on and issuing instructions to the pair of daredevil patrons. But those with their feet on the ground at the illegal party would not be outdone. Interestingly, the Transport Authority was tagged in all three videos posted on Instagram. One of the captions read, quote, about last night at Transport Authority JA, thanks for having us, unquote. The videos were posted on December 18, 2021. The Gleaners Investigative Coverage Unit reached out to the disc jockey on Instagram. And the DJ confirmed he was the person playing the music at the Transport Authority party on December 17. A copy of a Transport Authority flyer that was issued to staff was also obtained by the Gleaners Investigative Team. The flyer was captioned, quote, Regional Christmas Awards and Luncheon. Dress code, it said, was to be casually elegant. According to the Transport Authority flyer, the awards functions across its regional offices were to begin at 10 a.m. and 1 p.m., while the luncheon and lime were to run from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. The countrywide curfew under the DRMA at that time started at 10 p.m., the videos of the Transport Authority party were posted by an account belonging to the disc jockey seen in the videos on the night of the illegal party. Other possible breaches of the DRMA were also observed during the reveling. Hardly any of the patrons were wearing masks, and those who were had the protective covering under their chin. 
as it relates to social distancing. Far from it, and it does appear the gathering limit was also being breached. The COVID-19 containment measures declared under the DRMA have largely been withdrawn, but it's now up to the powers that be to determine whether the Transport Authority had the license to party while a ban was in effect on entertainment events. Since last week Thursday night, several calls placed the Willard Hilton, the Transport Authority's managing director, for a response went unanswered, and attempts to get a comment from its chairman, Joseph Shuker, since Friday of last week, were also unsuccessful. Tyrone Reed for the Gleaner. Welcome back, my viewers and subscribers. Move everybody, good move everybody, I stay safe. Now, you know, I can't post that specific video there on YouTube, so I'm going to I'm gonna drop the link down below, whether it be Telegram or Twitter. You get to me and say, so people you know, can just stay tuned and get to watch it. All right? Now, the other channel, it under a strike for about two weeks or a week, so I'm just watch and see what going on. This is my new channel because you know, I have to keep on posted even if the one they get banner or whatever. It's very nice people, so just subscribe and give me a like. See you, all right?